Thanks for tonight. Sorry about this. I have to get going now. Hey, hey, check her out. <laughs> You okay? Yeah. Sorry for making you wait for me. We just left the club. Where are you guys at? Hey, it was a pretty sudden request. How's the young lady? She'll be fine. Long as you get here now. Got it. Give me five more minutes. Heads up. It'll be a minute. I'm so sorry. I'm just not feeling well. If it's gonna take time, let's grab a taxi. All right, then. Let's head to the street. I think I had too much to drink. Could you not say anything to my grandfather? <laughs> I'll try and be discreet. Hey, you all good? If you want, we can give the girl the ride home. We're good. Thanks for that. My place is just over there, 30th floor. It's a great view. Don't worry. We promise we'll take good care of you. <laughs> hey! Asamakun here is doing you a nice favor, man. That's me. Osamakun at your service. <laughs> Buzz off. We can all hang out later. I'm afraid it's just gonna be me, though. What kind of dumbasses you think we are, old man? <laughs> <laughs> Got a situation. Where are you right now? Three minutes out. What happened? I'll tell you later. Stay here. Rest for a minute. Are you sure you're gonna be okay? No problem. Situations like these are why I'm here. Is she some big shot's daughter, maybe? I got you. Hear me out. You'll never guess what company my dad owns. Oh, you sure? You lay a finger on us and you'll regret it. Turn around now, and you can go home in one piece. But if you don't, then keep this in mind. Everything could have been avoided if you just let her leave. Asamakun! This guy wants to fight us. Well, now, this guy's just doing his job, right? And besides that, for the hero, the journey makes the prize better. <laughs> now, let's show the lady what real men look like!
Good evening. Really nice work out there. But you need to take care of yourself. Though it may be a snack, you still need to eat your vegetables, you know. You're even watching what I'm eating, I see. You didn't need to come get me. I was just making my way back. Right you are. Of course we know you'll keep your promise. You know we don't allow that in the car. Should have had another. When I had the chance for it. The taste of freedom. Truck's here. It's ten minutes behind schedule. Copy that. See anything else? There's a van guiding the truck. That okay? The truck didn't come by itself? Negative. It's with a black van. The truck's following it. Stop them both immediately. Another vehicle wasn't part of the plan! <laughs> hey! Stop! Come on! Over here! Stopping! It's coming right for us! Deals off! Everyone offside! Pull out now! Pull out! We got Hanawa. Hmm. Hey, give me a hand here. Move it. <laughs> what are you? Hanawa. Stop. The guy. Throw him in. Hanoa was her target all along, wasn't he? The gold smuggling story. It was all just a ruse. What do you want? No fucking way. Kiryu. Figure it out later. Can you stand? They, they tried to kidnap me. But why? How do I? Yes. I suppose it's time I fight back. Let me help you. Right. Glad to hear it. I see. So the Omi Alliance coordinated last night's attack in order to locate Kazuma Kiryu. Yeah, but they tracked down the wrong person. 
They mistook me for this Kiryu guy. I wasn't born yesterday. Look, I'm just trying to do the job they handed to me. How very interesting. I hope you know we won't let you go. Until you tell us who put you up to this. Hmm. Doing the interrogation all by yourself? Hanawa-san. <laughs> so what if I am? <laughs> because... That mean you're the only one stuck on Kiryu-san. <laughs> Sound about right. <laughs> What's that supposed to mean? Just what are you? I saw it all! That, that black van just ran right into that car! <laughs> That Hanya mask. Fuck this! Let's go! You're coming with us, Kiryu-san. As a matter of fact, you're gonna be giving us a little help. <clears throat> I'm not Kiryu. <clears throat> but... If it's a fight you want, I'll give it to you. Now I hear you. Those Daidoji boys have got you tight by the balls, don't they? If you want, we can make them loosen that grip on you. You what? Shishido, deal with him. He's the only one from Daidoji here right now. You have no problem killing people, do you? What do you want from us? And what's your deal? Reduced to being Daidoji's dog? Legendary dragon. My fucking ass! Hanawa, get out of here. You're just an obstacle to these guys. Yes. So it would seem. Shishido, put the knives away. Wouldn't want to kill Kiryu-san. Hmm. Fine. Then I'll just beat him half to death. If you're done running your mouth... Then come on! So you're sticking to all these fancy new moves. I'll kill you, son. Leave that shit for judges and rules. The only winner out here is the one who walks away. If you want that to be you, then fucking kill me! You don't like being shown up then. That's fine. I can take you on any way you want. Still gonna beat you into submission though. Hmm. Gonna teach me a lesson? I can't wait to see this side of you. I just hope you got the moves to back it up. Whenever you're done talking, come find out. <laughs> School's out! Round two is on! see it. Sure is a big boat. But... Why is it called the castle? Uh, you'll find out soon enough. You just gotta wait till we land and see.
Well, take a look back there. It's a castle. Get it? From Osaka. Yep. And this castle ship's cargo is a full-blown adult amusement park. And only real VIPs get a ticket to come inside. Ladies and gentlemen, are we having a good time? We're up to five deaths so far tonight, but that's not enough blood for you yet, is it? That's why this evening's hosts, the Watase family, proudly present a series of historic Yakuza conflicts reenacted in three consecutive battles! Three battles? What are we walking into? Don't know. We ain't here to do anything but lose, yeah? We're small fries, man. They don't gotta tell us shit. Yo, Shishido. Aren't these some of the guys the Watase family rounded up? You're really cool letting them all die at once? If it means spicing things up at the castle tonight, some of them may not even end up dying either. Hey. Did you find someone interesting? Yeah. Let's see if you can tell which one. Our scene is Osaka, as the 20th century nears its end. Osakans are tormented, right under the Omi Alliance's nose. And by who? International Crime Syndicate, Blue Dragon! Tonight, they've plotted a cruel, devious act of indiscriminate arson. But wait, who's this? Yes, it's a young patriot Watase! Shit. Didn't give us weapons? Is that enormous brute really supposed to be Watase? Witness the genesis of the Watase family's independence! Operation Destroy Blue Dragon! Our very own Patriarch Watase will be painting the town red tonight! <laughs> And here I thought I'd have to take it easy on you. Bring it! the look down, but nothing else. Trust the tiger, instead of his own two hands, he'd have rather died. Kiryu-san? Guess it's your turn to interrogate me. Can it, Surano? We have had enough of your Yakuza shit show for a lifetime. You understand, Joryu. You get this one chance to prove your loyalty. It's the only way forward. Unfortunately. Ah, damn. It must be cinched on there real tight. That collar they got around your neck. 
Joryu! Everyone back up! Suruno, you're getting out of here. You'll be safe once you make it outside of the building. Your Omi crew's out there, staking out the place. You're really fucked now, Joryu. What the hell, Suruno? Go! <laughs> So how do you want this to play out now? It's not just your life that's at stake here. Now the kids in Okinawa are- Shut your mouth! You will not lay a single finger on them. Fine then. I'm afraid this is a decision you cannot come back from. I didn't want this. I'm sorry. It's fine, Hanawa. I'm a dead man. Met my end three years ago. Don't worry, I won't hold a grudge. Everyone else always comes first. And you're always ready to give it all up for them, aren't you? How on earth has that attitude not gotten you killed yet? Hanua! The only reason that I'm still alive right now is because this man saved my life. And it wasn't just once. He saved me two times over now. If that's how you want it. No! What are you doing, Hanawa? Pick up the damn gun! I was prepared to die today. However, this is something I cannot do. I just can't bring myself to kill you. All right, then. Don't! <laughs> Didn't think you had it in you. Look at that. You've passed the test. Both of you. Boss. Don't ya? Hmm. Cops don't come around here. So nobody's gonna care about your real identity. So? Take the goddamn shades off. Patriarch! Could I ask you to just leave him alone? Joru isn't even telling us who he really is. You said that already. And I still don't fucking care. Fine. Oh. You want to see my face that badly? Then it sounds like you and I will need to settle this with our fists. Jury! Sorry, but I don't take orders from anybody I can wipe the floor with. Patriarch. <sighs> That's real good, Jory. You talking like that's got me hard as a rock. <sighs> Sir, let's go! And none of you bastards better step in. Been so damn long since I've gotten any action. I rose up too high in the ranks. And now no one will go at it for real with me anymore. It's giving me some real blue balls. Now I'm throbbing so hard it's killing me! You sure that it's a fight you want? Or is it something else? Huh. 
Oh, I'm sure. Yeah. You'll be on your knees begging me to finish you off. If that's how you're gonna play it, then it's fine by me. Wanna cut loose? I'll oblige. Ugh! Patriarch! Oh, man. Sure tied my ticket on that. I've been a goddamn fool. Care to explain? Joryu, was it? No fucking way. That isn't your real name, is it now? You, my friend, ought to be six feet under. <sighs> ah, so I was right. And nobody's supposed to know, are they? Can't pull one over on me, though. <sighs> Patriarch, what are you talking about? You knew this whole time, didn't you? Who he really was. <laughs> I knew he wasn't just any old asshole. No. This guy's the real deal. You might even call him the Dragon of Dojima. A Kijin clan welcoming party, huh? I was told your captain would be meeting me here. Captain? Well, that'd be me. And you see, while this is hello, it'll also be goodbye. So that's Nishitani's command, huh? What, is he too busy to come see to things himself? Even if that was his wish, we can't allow him to do that. That man's an Omi Alliance officer, you know. Taking you on would be much too dangerous now. Ain't that right, Kazuma Kiryu? The guy with that name is already dead. <laughs> All right, then. We'll kill you till you stay dead. <laughs> Tell me, how'd you know I'd be here? We cast a pretty wide net round Osaka, you know. These Kijin clan boys, they came from a place down by the bay. So, that means Patriarch Nishitani's there too. Now hold up. If that's the case, let's just take the car and get out of here. <laughs> oh, come on now. Let's warm up with these bitches first! You little... Who you calling a bitch? Kill you, son. We can get out this way. All right. Give me a hand. Nishitani's coming with us. The guy knows exactly who you are now. He ain't forgetting what you did to the Jingo. Just leave him there. Shut up! Just help me! God damn it. The fire escapes that way. Open the door! I got Nishitani! alive. Much easier for us if he's dead. What about Suruno's words? Just shut it! What's done is done! Besides, Captain Suruno knows all about this. He knew this? <laughs> Oh.
Omi, new or old, see this video right here? Rank be damned, they'll kill you. On top of that, they'll see it was me who exposed you. I'll be the goddamn hero. What are you saying? To start, I'll be taking over the Watase family. <laughs> Already had the groundwork laid. What? All of you? <sighs> so the Patriarch and the Captain weren't with us. No shit that'd have everyone turned on you. You were so busy licking Watase's boots, you forgot about everyone else under you. Just means you didn't have the damn balls. And you think you're any different? I know my place in the world. I'll take it step by step. Patriarch will be the first for me. Then it'll be the top of the Omi Alliance. That's some pretty big talk there. I wasn't raised that great, you know. When I can take my shot, I make sure I put my life on it. Two long years. I've been waiting for this. To expose the Omi Alliance's greatest threat. You backstabbing rat fucks! So you were against us all this fucking time. Asshole. You two turned on us first. Turned your back on us! <laughs> Kazuma Kiryu and Masaru Watase. You're both dead as fuck. You wrinkly ass traitors! God damn it. How the fuck did this happen? Appreciate the time. Gotta warm up thanks to you. Sorry to break it to you like this, but the show's got to go on. I ain't finished with you, fucker! Sorry about your precious scoop there. Figured you needed a hand, so I made sure to step on it here. Perhaps... I may have gone a little overboard.
Nomi Alliance of Kansai started off as the idea of a few ambitious men more than 100 years ago. In the early days, we were fierce, ready to go to war at any moment. Although we only fought against other factions, we know these wars took a heavy toll on the people here in the city we call home. And for that, we are deeply sorry. <laughs> Therefore, on this day, the presiding chairman does declare, and I, Captain Watase, do cosign, this official document, which proclaims the Omi Alliance of Kansai, is hereby dissolved. Huh? What the fuck? This we pledge to the Osaka PD. What? Why are you doing this, Captain? What are you thinking? I'm Daigo Dojima, 6th chairman of the Tojo Clan. Tojo Clan? The fuck's he doing here? Think it's time. Let's do it. As the Omi Alliance does, so shall we. The Tojo Clan is also officially dissolved. Watase-san and I will serve as each other's witnesses as we each end our factions together. This decision was ratified by the Omi chairman, Captain Watase and acting Captain Masumi Arakawa. Bullshit! What kind of shady crap is that? Fuck you, Watase! You're a goddamn traitor! Saejima. I made sure this would be nice and sharp for today. I really want to test it out. Any volunteers? <laughs> Majima san. We're gonna march this declaration down to Osaka PD. I know, most of you are none too happy about it. So listen up. If you consider yourself real Yakuza, then you'll have to stop me by force. <laughs> Good shit. I'm starting to see the big picture, Arakawa-han. So that's him. Masumi Arakawa. Sure is. This kind of brawl. Most of us never live to see one like it. So if we're gonna make history here, you bet your ass I'm gonna take a stand with the side having the most fun. You twisting the knife on us, Tendo? <laughs> I'd much rather fight with you than against you. Things are about to get real spicy now. Hey, see that scraggly fella next to Tendo over there? He's that Kasuga guy I was talking about. Finally time to step out of the shadows, huh? Look at us. We're about to have the fight of our lives just to get that point across. With the Yakuza legends at our side. Let's make it one to remember! That's our cue. Right. They've all got eyes on Watase and Daigo. We need to protect them. Damn it. This is far, far enough. Watase! Shit! Uh, uh, uh. Watase! What the? <laughs> I knew you weren't really gone! So he's finally back. The Dragon of Dojima. Utsase, how did you find him? Who, him? <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. He's just some extra muscle. Some bodyguard I hired. Couldn't even tell you his name. 
Leave this part to me. You guys worry about the front line. I'll protect the back even if it costs me my life. <laughs> I don't know who you are, but you sure know how to make an entrance. God damn, seriously? Share the spotlight, would you, Kiryu-san? Seconds. This feast ain't over till it's over. Is that all of them? Nice. We did it. Kiryu-san. Don't take this the wrong way, Dojima-san. It's just that my bodyguard, well, he's not anybody whose name you would know. You might be thinking he looks real damn familiar, but it ain't him. Hold on. I hired him from a temple called Dido something or other, I think it was. That's all I got. Puzzle it out for yourself. Understood. Well, we're done here. Let's go. Mm. Everyone, come this way. <laughs> Good luck out there, Kasuga. You're gonna do great. And that was way, way easier than I thought it would be. <laughs> kind of a letdown, huh? You say that, but this shit's exhausting. Felt like I lose my damn lunch. <laughs> <sighs> Still, guess this really is the end, huh? The Omi and the Tojo are done like dinner. <sighs> Smell you later, guys. <sighs> oh, I know! How about a party to celebrate, eh? Could really go for some tripe right about now. Of course, we can't forget to bring Mr. Bodyguard along. Thanks. But no thanks. Oh, come on, just a few drinks? You know, I never bought it. The whole thing about you dying and all was a load of bullshit. Kill you, Chun. You've got the wrong guy. Sorry, but I've never met you. The hell? Look me in the eye and tell me you expect me to keep playing along with this shit. I'm not asking you to do anything for me. You can move on and forget about it once I'm gone. Yeah, yeah, whatever. I'll go along with your little charade for now, okay? So no leaving. My heart can't take it. Huh. <laughs> huh? What's that? <sighs> Shishido. You're still standing? If Luke's could kill, we'd be in trouble about now. So he hasn't learned his lesson. Guess it's on me to teach it. Hey. You didn't finish the job? Why not, you can stop? That or is one hell of a cockroach. You're not getting off that easy. Not while I'm still sucking air. If you want to fuck with the Omi Alliance, I'm pushing back till I'm dead in the ground. It's over, Shishido. Cut the crap! This is freaking pathetic, man! You stay the fuck out of the way, traitor. Shishido. Cornered animal at this point. Don't look like he's got anything left to lose. Mm. <laughs> 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 
What are you doing, Majima? Get the fuck off me! Is that the best you got? Look at me. I'm still kicking assholes. And not just me. The whole Omi Alliance. Ain't that right? <laughs> Stubborn shit like this here. That's what the Omi was best at. What's up, this son? You're hurt. Boss! I guess before we go to the cops, I gotta change again, huh? Now listen here! If we don't kill these bastards right now, the Yakuza are done for good. You okay being crushed by rats? Dying on the ground? With all the pride of a soggy goddamn napkin? Don't forget who you are! The Omi fucking Alliance! Yeah! Yeah! Strength and terror. That's how you dominate. Show these cowards some real Yakuza! God damn it. We need to shut him up. It's fine. Well, let him go. All the way. Hey! They're still in the garden! It's time! Get moving! Kill these shitbird traitors! For years they've been scheming behind all our backs to make this happen. Creeping in the shadows, pulling the strings, making us prance around like they're little puppets. Fuck that shit! Don't try to tell me any one of you's okay with that! Fuck it ain't right with us! They can take their dissolution and stick it up their motherfucking asses! Don't forget about those Tojo pricks, neither. Anyone standing in our way is dead. I want it raining blood! <laughs> they got a real fire under their ass now! God damn it! That's why I said we needed to shut his mouth. Wouldn't matter. These guys aren't gonna back down. Not until they've given it every last thing they've got. Shishido. Nishitani. They're old school Yakuza, all right. They put on a big show to make everyone fall in line. And just as long as all that helps them get whatever they're looking for, nothing's off limits to them. Every single Yakuza faction, they ran on guys like that. Got a lot of good use out of them. So if we really want to dissolve the Yakuza, we have no choice but to meet them head on and make sure we finish the job for good. That's the only way we're really gonna bring an end to all this. We step up, here and now. Because we're the only ones that can make it happen. Hmm. Bodyguard knows what he's talking about. These guys, they ain't gonna see it our way unless we force them to. Ain't that right, Dojima-san? <laughs> Feeling like... I'm the only one with no balls here. Don't say that. All this right here, none of it happens if not for you and Watase. Dismantling Japan's two biggest Yakuza groups? You ask me, that takes balls of steel. <laughs> Fair enough. Well then, today, the Tojo clan goes out with a bang! What's up with these guys?
There's that good shit. Let's go! Come on, let's dance! Guy who sits the Great Hall, in this spot right here, he's the one who runs everything. Just one word. That's all it would take to mobilize every Yakuza in Japan. That's the kind of strength we're all dreaming of! That's not the world we live in anymore. I think you ought to know that well enough by now. Don't you fucking tell me what I know! Maybe none of this matters to you. You sat the Tojo throne, even if it didn't last. But some of us got no choice. If being a Yakuza is the only life you know, then this room's all you fucking have! This place? It's the dream. And without it, we're dead! The dream, huh? <laughs> Golden boy like you could never understand. You'll never know what it is you've taken from us. I get it. Uh, do you? I can erase my name. I can deny who I am. But deep down, I'm the same as you. You hear someone out there stronger. And soon, your only thought is how to defeat them. You want to prove you're unmatched? Then bask in the glory. That's how we're built. If that's how we're built, then why the fuck did you help tear it all down? Why would you take our goddamn dream away? That's easy. Because compared to the hopes and dreams of everyone else out there, ordinary people just struggling to get through their daily lives, our dream isn't worth a damn. Fucked everything sideways showing up here and raising hell. But at least I'll get to kill you myself. And once that's done, those little shits are next. You want to rattle me so bad you can taste it. But doesn't change the fact that this ends right here. No matter how many bullshit threats you throw at me. Ha! All done then? Doesn't change shit. Think I give a shit about some legendary Yakuza? All you fucks! I'll murder every one of you! Ah! as of today. For all your kicking and screaming, you couldn't stop the boss or the Tojo clan. We won. You put up a good fight. I'll give you that. Time to go. Nothing more for us here. Say. Come on, get in. I'll give you guys a lift. I brought you another change of clothes, Watase-san. Thoughtful as ever. Thanks for that. Of course. I think you'll fit. Might be a little tight, though. <laughs> Well, well, got some guts, don't you? Trying to pull a fast one and a daidoji. Pretty slick for a two-bit thug. Personally, I didn't you right here be done with it. 
But you'll make a fine agent, so you can keep your life. You're gonna be on a damn short leash till the day you die. But don't worry. Nishitani will be there too, so you won't be lonely. No! You haven't seen this before, have you? It's your grave in Okinawa. Our hidden cameras filmed this. Same ones that we used to monitor the orphanage kids. This was taken on the anniversary of your death. <gasps> Haruto-kun was around four at the time, huh? Growing up nicely indeed. The camera's positioned far away, so they don't know they're being watched. Your last two visitors that day were Taichi-kun and Ayako-san. After a while, Ayako-san spotted the camera. She might have noticed light reflecting off the lens. Hey, Taichi. Is that a camera I'm seeing? Yep. Looks like it. And it's pointed at Uncle Kaz's grave? If it's a hidden camera, then someone's probably watching us. Does that mean... Do you think Uncle Kaz set it up? If Uncle Kaz is really still alive, then maybe he did. Yo, Uncle Kaz! So, oh, come on. What do you think you're doing? What? There's a chance he might see this, right? Huh? We got nothing to lose, so let's try. Hmm. Hey, Uncle Kaz! Can you see me okay? It's Taiji! And... Ayako is here, too. <laughs> We're all doing great! Same with Haruka and Haruto. Shiro, Izumi, Koji, Mitsuo, Riona, and Eri, everybody's doing well. And plus, to be honest with you, nobody here actually believes that you're, um, dead. I'm serious. Hey, Uncle Kaz. So, I'm a firefighter now. When bad things happen, and people who are in trouble need help, I want to be the one who steps up when no one else has the courage. It's probably because I grew up watching you. As for me, I got a job at a small office. I fought really hard to get it, and it worked out. Koji's working for a company now, too. Riona got a job in fashion. Eri wants to work with little kids. Izumi went and became an animal groomer. <laughs> she had lots of practice on Mame. <laughs> Mitsuo's working all kinds of jobs. And Shiro's majoring in science. Haruto's, well... <laughs> Lately, he's been a bit of a pain. Take your eyes off him for a second and he's gone. It's driving Haruka and you just crazy. <laughs> we know. You must have a lot going on, too. Because if you were alive, you'd definitely come see us, right? Maybe if you really are somewhere out there, you could send us a sign? We're all making our way just fine on our own, so it's not like we'd ask you to take care of us or anything. Just... It's only that we wouldn't want for you to... be lonely? Out there, all on your own? If you did give us a sign, we wouldn't tell anyone outside Morning Glory. And when you're ready, we'll all be waiting for you to come back. 
Looking forward to it. Yeah, we are. Taichi and I are finally old enough to drink, too. I bet we'll have a fun time. We've got so much to talk about. Oh, right. We're going to come back again tomorrow. There's something we want you to have. And plus, I want Haruka and the others to say hi, too. What is it that you wanted to bring for him? Oh, yeah, that's great. Anyway, see you tomorrow. Bye, Uncle Kaz. <laughs> Unfortunately, the camera was collected by an agent soon after this video was taken. Once the kids discovered the camera, we had no other choice. Right. I understand. I had wondered to myself whether showing you this would really constitute a reward. I'm still unsure. It is. I'm really grateful. You did. <laughs> You'll recall, Taiji-kun said he had something he wanted to give you. On the day after the camera was retrieved, they went back, all the children of morning glory together, and left a small tube containing a picture. Now clearly, we couldn't let them think that Kazuma Kiryu a dead man had been there to receive it. Ultimately, we decided to leave it there, but had one of our agents take a photograph of it first. <laughs> Haruto-kun drew this. <laughs> That's you in the middle, isn't it? This is just great. Haruto. <laughs> Will you look at that? He's four now. He can read and write already. The last time I saw him, he couldn't even... He couldn't even talk. And now he's... <laughs> he's really coming along. Haruka-san, too. All of the children are. It's true. They're all making their own way just fine without me. And here I am, alone. I can't even tell them how much I miss them. I needed them more than if they ever needed me. <laughs> that boy earlier, <clears throat> he said he wanted to show the courage to step in and help others when no one else would, didn't he? Surely you must realize you set that example for them. Hearing you say that doesn't make me feel any better. I can't do a damn thing other than sit here and meditate. Ah, uh, which reminds me. Hanua-san suggested you take some time off and travel. It's already been approved by those in charge. Your vacation has no set time limit. You're welcome to go if you're interested. Make no mistake, though. As far as the world knows, Kazuma Kiryu will remain a dead man. Wherever you go, whatever you do, we'll be watching. So... My training's complete, then. <laughs> this temple is just for appearances, as indeed am I. Your training will be there with you no matter where you go. It's time to move on. Hmm. Hmm. 
Is Hawaii going to be your first stop? No. I think I'll be saving the best for last. So, putting others before yourself again, are we? <laughs> you never change. Well, well. I see you've grown quite trusting of Kiryu-san. Trust has nothing to do with it. Distinguished performance earns a distinguished reward. You can call it meritocratic. Securing his gratitude is to our advantage. It sets a good example for the other pawns in our collection. One other thing. The Dragon of Dojima is quite a fearsome ally. We would be unwise to make him an enemy. Clearly. That's why we don't want to get too involved. Hanawa-kun, he does understand his place, doesn't he? Indeed he does. Ought to be everything. Credit card, ID, all under your new name. Appreciate that. The faction approved it, so I did my job. That's all it was. Our relationship is strictly a business one, after all. It'll mean problems for both of us, if anyone thinks that you and I have become friends. Right. That'll work just fine. For us. Joyu was too on the nose to be a fitting alias. So I took the liberty, and chose Tai Chi Suzuki for you. <laughs> just so happens that a few years back, I used this exact same name. Yes, I'm aware. I don't remember telling you anything about that. Or anyone else here, for that matter. <sighs> Well, the truth is, before I became a Daidoji member, I actually had another opportunity to get to know you. First time I'm hearing it. Well, we really are one and the same. How's that? Because we are both men who've found a new life. Men who have abandoned even their own names. <laughs> In other words, there are many more secrets you are not privy to. Well... Story of my life. Please do take care of yourself. Kill you, son. See you around.